안녕하세요 여러분 제 이름은 이현생입니다 저는 한국어 좋아요 Hi everyone welcome back to my channel So today this video is I am going to share how to get a passport in fast and easy way So check out So today I'm going to share to you why did I decided to, to get a passport. First and foremost is that it is actually required in our first semester as a tourism management student as a completion. Second is that um, I was actually told that it is an international ID so I think it's very important as a Filipino citizen. And third is that I really wanted to go outside the country and I already wanted to go to Korea and so I'm preparing myself just to become just to make sure that if there will be an opportunity to come I would really get it right away and yeah that's it so what are the important requirements that are really needed so first and foremost you have to know that when you wanted to get it when you wanted to get a passport you have to set an appointment first online in the DFA Tapos, if you already set an appointment, make sure that in that page in the website of the DFA, you will see there a lot of things that you have to fill up. Cause and you have to very be very careful and also make sure that you are prepared with the printer and also the A4 size pen paper, cause those are really needed. Because after filling all of those things in that form, you have to print those things and also the receipt. And also, you have to make sure that ang yung gigamit na pen paper is A4. Kaya kailan mo yung kailangan na adito sa ilang requirements. And then, so that's it. Reminder na kailangan jud kwan jud ka ng careful ka sa pag fill up. So, monito. so what are the requirements that are really needed? First is, of course, the very important, the PSA or the MSO, birth certificate. Muna siya pinaka-important, muna siya pinaka-ID mo, pinaka-kawin mo na you are really a Filipino. You deserve to have a Philippine um, passport and you deserve to have a passport, to be, to have a passport. And yun na niya, ito sa Philippine PSA day. Yung na answer. So sa Oban, actually, they only have one copy. Moro na ilang copy. Ako nag-wonder ko, I have two copies. And then, I don't know what's the use of this other two. Kahit ba siya, two pages ba din siya? No, I'm not copy. It's pages. I have two pages. Page one and page two. And I don't know what's the reason. And... Maybe, sabihin na lang sa akin kung ano. And I will link the I will link the VFA website also in the description box. And of course, di ba nakaprint mo yung ano yung itsura sa electronic receipt na yung mga dapat ipakita ato sa consular's office. Make sure na yung yung hangi ko ano na consular's office is very dool lang sa inyo. Mo na siya pinakamorta niya. Very dool lang dapat. Tapos kani ang official receipt na dito na kabot ang e-passport fee, ang expedited fee, ang e-passport fee is 950 pesos, ang expedited fee is 250 pesos, and then naapay convenience fee since ako imbayad man ng ako ati dito sa my 7-Eleven na sa convenience fee na 50 pesos, so out of total wala sa 250 pesos, so manas siya. Ako kaya ganahan mo ko express kaya para kahit nang ba, kaya nagkita ko kaya expect na matuto lagi ng Thailand pero unfortunately hindi ko madayan. So, mula to siya. And then, yung una niya, it's already a form. Okay, this is what it looks like. Na siya yung ano ni. And na, reminders. Tapos, on steps. Tapos, mula niya ang pinaka-form. This is the form. Yung una niya, it's already a form. Na ay, barcode. Also, pareha sa lag, I think pareha sa lag barcode sa official receipt ang receipt nila and then muna to make sure na inyo nyo ma-fill upan inyo nyo ma-permahan ang kani kanaman inyo nyo ma-fill upan kana 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 
And then, mana siya, mana siya ang reminder. Ah, uh, important reminders or ang steps at capturing sight. So, dili mo mag, dili mo mag-uol kung sa ang sunod, ang sunod, ang sunod, ang sunod, ang sunod. So, bright kayo ang DFA, di ba? Eh, lang nangit, tas nagpaagi na sa yun, bra. Tapos, of course, nakabutan po diri sa important reminders kung unsa ang kung when inyo hang appointment kung nya yeah, asa mo dapat nagpakwan sa inyo appointment nya asa mo dapat mag-process kamo na nagbot na na naman dito sa form so you have to make sure na inyo to mafila pa nagtarong dito na dito sa form kung when mo ganahan mag-ano mag-process kung what time particularly and then na dito na kung usap po niyo mga buhaton na usap po niyo mga remarks na dito pwede mag-wear o ano kanang ano off shoulder so you have to know that na dito pwede mag-wear o mga kanang heavy makeup kailangan pwede lang makita niyo mga dito matabo ng number ng clown okay <laughs> tapos hindi mo kailangan mag-wear o wear o kanang mga dangling-dangling ng mga earrings-earrings tapos yan yung mga butang-butang dito so you have to make sure that and then ako I actually the next kuan is the IDs Actually, I prepared a lot of IDs, but what I need in the DFA Consular's office is only one ID, the PSA and the one ID. And then also the form and the two receipts. So, what I just need. I'm going to show you what I need to do. I'm going to show you what I need to do with the voter certification. But unfortunately, when I get to step 2, the voter certification is canceled. I'm going to show you what I need to do with the ID. I'm going to show you what I need to do. ID na ko. Ang student ID o ang study load ako sa important thing. So, ang study load is served as this support and requirements na ko sa ID ito para makahibaw doon sila na niya sure sila na you are still a student. So, muna siya. Sa uban, if you are an adult, if you are already working, make sure na naamoy NBI clearance. NBI clearance? Naamoy NBI clearance kaya ang NBI clearance marag mara siya pinakakuan nila. Pinaka pinaka mga sure sila na wala job kay kasor ani ana wala kay hit especially kay namakay mga kung nakay ka mga kapangalan ma hit ka patay ka dai dai ka ka kon ko ang kay kailangan tanani mo pa ano kay kay tapos mo na to siya mo to kailangan so kung mag renew mo ako na palibutan dito sa link diretso na to adto sa ubos and then sunod is mo to na na kay support requirements and the reason why ilang gi ko na ako ang voter certification is that wala i perma ba pride kayo wala po nang ang voter certification wala po nang inano ang bot ko nang akong ipaan ba dati sa Comelec office there sa nang bali wala po ay perm ang bali pa dito sa 75 pero mabalik ko ato para ma permahan ni para at least magamit pag hapon ako and then moto I over actually presented a lot of IDs I presented merang clearance I presented voter certification I presented my study load I even presented my ano my grade sheet And then my ano, what's that? What's that? Dagan ka ayaw kung gipang present. Moto, nagani ka nakakaju ko process ko. And of course, ito sa Tacloban City, ay sa Tacloban DFA office kasi is na asilay ka tong LBC para kung kung kani homan din niyo yung nalipad dali yung passport para di niyo kung magbarikpal ko biya gay dito. Ay, kaso ako nung nakapu juko kay murag yung ako utok murag nalipong match. Kaya nalipong match tung ko kayo at na nagasakit ko pagabot tiri ang bot eh kuwat kayo kung city. Muna. So, moto, nagpadala lang ko, nagkawat na lang ako ng September 4, ah, kung tentative date, tentative releasing of the passport. So, may tagma, gawa ito na ako, na may para ako ipakita sa inyo ha, ang proof. Yeah, how does it feel to have passport? Okay. Charot. So, muna ito siya. So, I think that's it for today. Ano yun? Yogi Kachi. Anyong, bye-bye. See you in my next vlog.